Hey everyone, I just received a package from Battery Hookup and we have some stickers on here and we know what that means. Now, typically my orders from Battery Hookup and for other DIY projects end up being on pallets. But, I think this may end up being the most exciting order I've ever placed with them because this is the best deal I've ever seen on their site and uh, let me show you why. Let's get this thing opened up. These are 32 25 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cells. So the reason that I say these are the best deal that Battery Hookup has ever offered is because they are $11 a piece if you buy a case of 30 and $12.50 a piece if you buy them individually. Um, but these are brand new cells. They have offered lithium iron phosphate cells like this at a lower price point, but they were used. They either, like some of them were zero volts that could be recovered. Um, or they were just from backup systems that had been in use before, even if it was very little cycling that had been done on the cells. But these are brand new. So they are fresh off the line from 2019. So let's, let's get into a little bit more of the specifics about these. So as far as dimensions go, they are seven and one eighth inch tall. They are two and three quarters of an inch wide and they're one and one eighth of an inch thick. So these can be paralleled together. They're 25 amp hours a piece. So say you wanted to build a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, you could parallel four of these together and then series connect four parallel strings together for a 4S, 4P configuration. So the size on these only being 25 amp hours at first seems like a hindrance, but it actually makes it more flexible because you can parallel these together to increase the capacity. But the size of these is just incredible. Um, they are rectangular, like looking down at it, so when you stack these together, they're very efficient uh, as far as space goes. They don't take up a ton of space, so they're, they're pretty dense uh, energy-wise for the given area. This would be a good example of a 12-volt battery. Uh, this would be your main negative. Your positive here and negative here would be series connected together. This would be a series connection here, and then this would be a series connection here, and this would be your main positive. So. Your negative here and positive here would be 12 volts. This would be a 25 amp hour 12 volt battery. And this is rated, uh, these cells individually are rated for up to a 3C discharge rate, meaning that these can discharge at 75 amps. So at 12 volts and 75 amps, this thing is, this battery is rated to discharge at 900 watts continuously. Um, and it can burst at up to 5C. So it's pretty amazing to think that something this small could discharge at 1500 watts in, in a burst. So with six, about six or seven pounds and something that you can pick up with one hand, uh, you have a 900 watt backup battery and up to a 1500 watt backup battery. This thing could literally power uh, a sump pump if it needed to with zero issues at all. It, it wouldn't struggle whatsoever. Now that you know a little bit more about these cells, um, I do plan on building something similar to this, but I may do a couple cells in parallel to maybe make a 50, 75, or 100 amp hour uh, battery pack that's at 12 volts. I also would like to try and use 16 of these to make an e-bike battery. So the, the cost basis on that would be extremely low. I mean, a, a 25 amp hour e-bike battery would cost probably seven or $800 minimum. Um, the 17 to 18 amp hour batteries that I see are around that price range. And I'm gonna be able to build a 25 amp hour, 48 volt e-bike battery for like 250 bucks. Uh, so basically throw 16 of these in series, um, strap a BMS to it so that way you have charge and discharge protection and overcurrent protection and all of that, which shouldn't be an issue because my e-bike will only draw 30 amps and these are rated for 75 amps continuous but it's good to have that safety anyway. However, the exciting part about this is um, <laughs> my, a friend of mine is actually kind of getting into this and he started small, similar to how I did, and it's just been progressing. So he bought 184 of these to build an 8S 23P 24 volt battery out of these for a basically a home backup battery. Uh, he does have solar panels and stuff like that. We're definitely going to be documenting all of this. You're going to become very familiar with his system if you continue to watch this channel. Uh, but basically, he's going to end up with a 24-volt, 575-amp-hour battery. It's like 14.2 kilowatt hours. It's going to be awesome to, to get it all set up. Obviously, it would be nice to have bigger cells than this for something uh, this large. But kind of got to take what you can get. 
considering the deal, couldn't pass it up. So we're going to be building out an awesome battery for him. Uh, he actually has access to some things to allow him to, uh, well, laser cut bus bars and things of that nature. So it's getting kind of serious. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to show everyone that. These things fit together perfectly. You can see at the top here how tight these cells are together. Uh, and then the, the bottom still has a bit of a gap. So we're going to strap these together to make sure that they don't want to swell or move at all and to kind of take the stress off of these terminals. You may have noticed on his setup right now because he's basically going through and top balancing all of his cells that he has some bare copper wire on here and basically what he did was made four rows for a 12 volt battery tied all of these cells in parallel these cells in parallel these cells in parallel and these cells in parallel and then you can see that he has some series connections here here and here um, and he put a few of those along here just to kind of spread that current out um, but right now he's going through trying to top balance these you should always top balance cells before you put them in service uh, you should never rely on a bms to do the balancing for you you should always take the time Go through and do a, a thorough top balance and these cells should be able to go into service after this top balance and i don't think he'll have to touch this for years and years it's going to be a really really stout solid setup so can't wait to show you guys the process i'm here on the battery hookup website and these cells are currently sold out but they do have another batch that they will be listing in about two weeks this has been up for about a week now so i would keep an eye out for these to come back in stock if you want some for your DIY projects. I don't know if they'll ever have a deal as good as this again, but I do think this is probably one of the best deals they've ever offered. Offered? Ever offered. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to give a shout out to anyone who is looking for these cells because they're a great deal. And I just wanted to give a couple of updates on the channel as far as projects that are gonna be coming up. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, thank you all for watching.